ABC 6 News 11 at 11 starts right now. We begin with breaking news tonight. A gunman and one attendee are dead after a shooting at former President Donald Trump's rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. According to the local district attorney, another spectator is in serious condition. The shooting is now being being investigated as an attempted assassination. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alyssa Azara. The Secret Service says Trump is safe and is now under protective measures, but Trump was hurt in the shooting. He dropped to the ground and was swarmed by secret service agents after multiple gunshots rang out while he spoke on stage. He had blood on his face as he was rushed away. Initial reports say the former president is doing okay and he's currently with his doctors. This is video from outside of Trump's hospital in Butler, Pennsylvania. The moment shots rang out, we're all caught on camera. Take a look. You know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Witnesses heard popping sounds, then Trump and others on the stage behind him ducked for cover. Secret Service rushed the platform and whisked the former president away. Trump had blood on his face, but he shouted back at supporters and gave them fist bumps before agents put him in the back of an SUV. According to local law enforcement, the shooter was perched on the rooftop across from the venue with an AR-style rifle. The shooter then fired as many as eight shots from about two to three hundred yards away. Secret Service then shot and killed that gunman. The agency says a spectator was also killed. Again, another attendee is reportedly in serious condition tonight. The Borough of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is investigating. The FBI is also investigating. Former President Donald Trump releasing a statement on that shooting. He says, quote, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all law enforcement for the rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound shots and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. President Joe Biden is now condemning that shooting. The White House also just confirming Biden and Trump spoke tonight. Biden also spoke with Pennsylvania's, gov Pennsylvania's governor. Excuse me. Biden delivered remarks from Delaware tonight. Take a listen to that. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come. But the bottom line is that the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to be conducted peacefully without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody, everybody must condemn it. The president added that every agency in the federal government is investigating the matter and providing him reports on the latest. New York police are increasing their presence around Trump Tower and other sensitive locations in the city. Trump Tower is already under the watch of the NYPD, even though Trump sh seldom stays at his former residence. The Fifth Avenue skyscraper is also now a gathering place for supporters and opponents of the former president. Tonight, officers are also increasing security at 40 Wall Street, Foley Square and City Hall. We are now hearing from bystanders who witnessed the shooting. One man who was seated right behind Donald Trump shares what he saw. It seemed initially like firecrackers went off. Um, it was a little, it was very confusing initially because, you know, I knew it was gunfire, but I couldn't quite tell where it was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from behind the bleachers. And the man in the bleachers, um, kind of to the right of me in the bleachers, took a gunshot wound to the head, um, was killed. And another woman, I, she, I don't know exactly where she was in police. I think she was either behind me or to the right of me. She got around in the, she got hit in the forearm and hand it looked like. But it just, if she was wounded, she wasn't killed. 
Another bystander describing the moments gunfire rang out. I'm standing next to the fence uh, on that left hand side. Uh, when we heard this go off, we thought it was firecrackers at first, and then somebody hollered everybody to the ground, so we're all going down to the ground. And uh, we weren't sure if uh, Trump got hit or not because the first thing we saw was all the Secret Service crowding around Trump. Many phones were out filming the rally at the moment that gunfire erupted. We're now getting a first-person perspective of what spectators saw say was a terrifying moment. The crowd seen dispersing as people looked for cover. Another attendee caught the sounds of the gunfire on camera. What just happened? Oh my God. Go, 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 go. Law enforcement in the area say the shooter was positioned on a building rooftop just outside of the venue. Early evidence indicates that there was only one shooter. The Republican National Convention will proceed on schedule. That's according to an update just into our newsroom from a Republican Party official. A statement from a senior Republican official to ABC News reads, quote, President Trump looks forward to joining you all in Milwaukee as we proceed with our convention to nominate him to serve as the 47th president of the United States, they added. The House of Representatives will conduct a full investigation of the shooting. That's according to an update from House Speaker Mike Johnson. House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer says he's contacted the Secret Service for a briefing. The committee is calling on Director Kimberly Cheadle to appear for a hearing. Comer says a formal invitation will be released soon. We're switching gears for a moment now to check on the forecast. Meteorologist Kelly Bates joins us live in the Weather Center. Kelly, I know we have a hot week ahead. Oh yeah, and in fact, it all starts tomorrow. So right now we're setting that stage. We're finding temperatures drop, but they're not going to go too, too far. And uh, interesting fact about today is that our temperatures spread from low to high was only a few degrees. We're currently sitting at 72 and the dew point is the basement. That's as low as the air temperature will be allowed to go. So this is pretty much what we're going to do as we go through the overnight officially mostly cloudy, but we are expected to clear things out. Now we do have areas of reduced visibility, for example, Smithfield and Westerly, but out on Block Island, it's down to quarter of a mile. So what we're seeing is the development of some patches of fog, and it is most prevalent, of course, out on Block Island, surrounded by all that water. Here's where we topped out today. We made it to 79 at TF Green, 81 in Smithfield, 80 for New Bedford, 82 in Taunton, 77 was our high in Newport, and our current temperatures are still, again, in the 70s, where they're expected to stay through the overnight. In terms of what's coming from the sky, well, again, we do have some low-level clouds that are hanging out, but we're done with precipitation at least as we head through the overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're going to see sunshine right from the start, and that means the warming will begin from minute one, and that means temperatures are likely going to top out near 90 degrees in the interior. We do have the potential of setting up a heat wave, by the way, so I'll let you know exactly how long we're thinking this heat wave will last and how warm it's going to feel when we start to mix in the humidity. There have also been a couple of watches and warnings that have been issued as well. We'll talk about all of that in great detail in just a couple minutes. Alyssa. All right. Thanks, Kelly. And this is new video as Donald Trump departs from the hospital after an apparent assassination attempt. Our breaking news coverage continues after the break as we continue to bring you updates the moment they come into our newsroom. Stay with us. You may come from a plug family and I come from a no plug family. But one day, our great families will come together in marriage. There's an electrified vehicle for everyone to fall in love with. Get offers on select models at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event. Get special offers on select Lexus RZ models. It's summertime in New York State. Time to get away.
Enjoy everything that makes it easy to love New York. Start your getaway at iloveny.com. Your morning starts here with the day's top headlines, breaking news, weather and traffic, all in one place. Watch Good Morning Providence, weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. Monday. We're not in L.A. anymore, baby. I'm in Australia. The Bachelorette goes down under. I feel like I have a connection with a lot of these guys. When the guys get roasted on the barbie. You look like the budget Pete Davidson. Can love still get blooming? Hey, let me talk to you for a second. Okay. The fact of the matter is you just embarrass yourself. I'm here for someone who is willing to put me in front of the drama. Thanks for staying up with us tonight at 11. We continue our breaking news coverage from Butler, Pennsylvania. Former President Donald Trump is hurt following a shooting at his rally. Trump was released from the hospital. One attendee is dead and another is seriously injured. The shooting shooter was killed by the Secret Service. This video shows the empty rally site where Trump and two others were shot. ABC's Rachel Scott reports from Pennsylvania with more. This is the shocking moment. Chaos erupted at Donald Trump's rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. You can hear several pops and see the former president grabbing his ear, ducking for cover behind the podium. Secret Service agents rushing the stage, surrounding Trump, shielding him, taking him down to the ground. The screaming crowd looking on in horror. A short time later, agents carefully lifting the former president up. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. Bloody. Blood clearly seen on his face, Trump pumping his fist. Agents whisking the former president off the stage, down the stairs, to a waiting armored SUV, rushing him to a local medical center. We heard what we appeared to be gunfire coming. The former president was rushed off the stage right now. We're at Secret Service. He's being escorted into his vehicle. This was a chaotic moment that just played out right here in Pennsylvania. People running and rushing to the ground as they heard those apparent shots fired. Tonight, the Trump campaign releasing a statement saying the former president is fine and being checked down at a local Local medical facility. Just hours ago, this area was lined with Trump supporters. They entered that tent right there to be screened by Secret Service, going through metal detectors, their belongings detected. Now, this is the space where you have Trump supporters that are leaving, panicked and confused as Secret Service agents rush us out of this area and back to our cars. Tonight, the crowd still in disbelief. Tell me what you saw and what you heard. Okay, you said that I, you heard the popping sounds and you got down. Sounds. So first, you think like maybe firecrackers, but it continued. It continued, and then somebody yelled, "Get down!" We got down. We got down, and we huddled and we started praying. Tonight, local officials telling ABC News those sounds were in fact gunshots. Live rounds fired from outside the security perimeter. This is being investigated as an attempted assassination. And tonight, the local district attorney telling ABC News at least one person is dead and the shooter is dead as well. Tonight, President Biden addressing the nation. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they, apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. President Joe Biden will return to the White House from Delaware earlier than planned. That's according to a new statement from White House officials. Biden is scheduled to arrive back in D.C. by 1230 in the morning tomorrow. He was originally scheduled to stay in Delaware until Monday and fly directly to Texas for events. Biden's campaign will halt TV ads for the presidential race. A campaign spokesperson said, quote, the Biden campaign is pausing all outbound communications and working to pull down our television ads as quickly as possible.
Reaction to tonight's shooting is pouring in from state leaders. Governor Dan McKee responding to the incident saying, quote, political violence of any kind is abhorrent and inexcusable. Praying for the safety of former President Trump and all those at the rally in Pennsylvania today. Senator Jack Reed saying on Twitter in part, quote, it appears former President Trump will make a full recovery. We are glad he is safe. More facts will come out and whoever did this must be held accountable. And Senator Sheldon Whitehouse says there is absolutely no place for political violence in our democracy. As we wait to learn more about what happened, I wish the former president a fast recovery and appreciate law enforcement's quick response. I will be keeping the victims and their families in my prayers. State Rep Seth Magazine are adding in a statement, quote, there is no place for political violence in any of any kind in America, and I condemn whoever is responsible for this attack. I urge everyone to remain calm.